All right, guys, so today's video, we're gonna cut a face frame. We're gonna do it with a center parting. Now, if your guest wears a, uh, a side parting, then you would do this a little bit different. I'm gonna make a separate video for that. So this is based on a center um, symmetrical shape that we're creating. So I take the center down, uh, center back parting, and then I take a diagonal forward parting from that right to the hairline. So, and what I do is I over direct that over to me across the chair, across the face. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting a line almost parallel to that parting. Now, if you wanted a little bit more of an extreme face frame, then you could shift your finger angle a little bit. But the biggest thing that I want you to focus on is my elevation because I don't cut this super low a lot of people hold it nice and low and what that does is it creates weight so just like in the back if you go and you cut the back of the head and you have a low elevation you get a heavy shape so people don't think about that in the front they always hold the hair nice and low you want to hold the hair nice and high that gives you a nice kind of uh, graduated shape in the front as opposed to a just real heavy shape so you can see that how it curves nice I just continue all the way down the side um, until I run out of hair and then you get your face frame. Now what I'm going to do is take a piece as my guide and I'm going to do the same exact thing on the opposite side. So that's why I say this is a pretty simple technique as long as you focus on your elevation and your finger angle. So notice my finger angle isn't exactly parallel so I just shift it a little bit. That gives me a little bit more of an extreme um, face frame, kind of wraps it around a little bit more but at the same time, you could go parallel as well if you didn't want that. So I over direct it over, keep my elevation nice and high, symmetrical on both sides, and then you get your end result. So notice my partings nice and clean. I'm taking about a half inch at a time uh, over across the face, cutting it at a stationary guide, and I'm creating that kind of wrap around the face. So as I get to the ear, that's about when it starts to run out of hair. So um, if you wanted to continue this haircut, you continue all the way through the back if you want to. You can leave the layers nice and long. You could go into the back and also um, cut layers into the back as well. So this is more just for the face frame. We're not going to do any layering in the back. I want to show it to you guys dry, so I'm using the Paul Mitchell uh, Memory Shaper. This is from the Invisible Wear uh, category. So I put that in the hair. It's got a nice soft hold to it. And then I use my Paul Mitchell Turbo Light Blow Dryer to dry the hair. And then I use Hot Off the Press from Paul Mitchell, which is a heat protectant, um, just to make sure I don't create any damage to my guest. Obviously, this is not a real human. But if it was, uh, I would use Hot Off the Press anyways. And then that gives me that smooth that effect. So at 80% dry, I use Hot Off the Press, and that gives me kind of a smooth polish to the hair. And then when I go in with my Pro Tools iron, um, then I get uh, that nice uh, end result. So you can see here is our end result. Nice face frame. So I hope you guys like this cut. Let me know in the comments. Um, I think this is a very versatile technique that you'll be able to use in the salon right away. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.